The Southwest is the largest beneficiary of Buhari government due to the agreement with him in 2015. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Nadato Mohammed, a politician and well-known activist, recently resigned from her position as the director of the All Progressives Congress Presidential Campaign Council. She discusses, among other topics, the dropping of the All Progressive Congress Presidential Candidate, Asiwaji Bola Tenembo, and why the Tenembo Shetima ticket is a disaster waiting to happen. Permit me to explain the actual event. First, I did not support Tenembo as a presidential candidate. I supported Professor Yemi Usibanjo from the beginning. In fact, I have dispatched agent Usibanjo to dispute the notion that he is youthful, well-educated, proactive, and intelligent. Every time Barry leaves the nation, we regain his sense of rationality, including the value of the Naira. When Tenebo first appeared, he did so in the most corrupt manner. I was aware that delegates were given money to vote, but it was not just to vote, as Siwaji's name was printed on each ballot. They were compensated solely for delivering the item to the designated location. I was uninterested in the primary election for this reason alone. Yes, I was inside the All Progressive Congress, but I was unable to escape at that moment. I waited, but I never showed up to any of the meetings since I was uninterested in anything. One day, Honorable Falake phoned me. Falake and Adam were strangers to me. When he introduced himself, he called me when I was on a flight. Then he said, please, mom, we need you on the campaign council. We need you to be a director. I said, no. Why? I declined the position of the campaign director. I responded negatively when he began with, please, ma'am, it is not appropriate for someone to beg you. It is quite humiliating. And if you do not take it, you appear conceited. He questioned why I did not want the appointment. I said that I cannot be a zombie because I have not sound that returnable. I have not seen him. He hasn't informed us what he had in store for us up north. As I am too elderly at this time. And I am too elderly at this time. We reached a compromise after his persistent pleadings. So he said, Okay, ma, when you see Asiwaju, if you're not satisfied with what he has to say to you, you are free to opt out. We all agree to this. Then I received a text message stating Asiwaju wanted to speak with me, and I replied, I'll be waiting. Tunibu said, Hajiya, I apologize. I appreciate your decision not to accept my appointment. Nevertheless, I request your attention. Are you able to visit London? I said, Yes. That night, I purchased my ticket and I boarded a Lufthansa flight the following day to arrive in London the day after. The following evening, I was taken to a Siwa Dubai as someone named Ibrahim Masari while we sat down. I inquired, Sir, what do you have in store for us up north? What plan do you have for a predicament? He claimed he had no blueprints. Sir, how can you reign without a plan? I inquired. He explained that the reason is that he would step on too many toes and they might kill him. I considered that to be absurd. How do you rule, I said, if you do not have a blueprint? By the time he gets electricity, there will be numerous interruptions. So he instructed me to proceed if I wish to contribute anything to his manifesto. Before the Southwest chose in choice in 2015 to back Buhari, they presented him with a list of demands. Thus, Babatunde Fashola was able to obtain three or four mega ministries. Check the maximum amount Buhari allocated to the Northwest, his home region, was 12% of his overall budget. The Southwest is the largest beneficiary of Buhari's government due to the agreement with him. I attempted to assist this individual, especially Tunambu, who do not comprehend the North. The North is dissimilar to the South. If memory serves, prior to 2015, Buhari governed only one of the 19 Northern states. This were receiving 15 million votes. Buhari failed to win even his own states. This were the fact that the People Democratic Party was on par. He still received 15 million votes. In the North, the peasants have the ace as it dominates the voting process. The governors hold authority in the South. They determine who receive voter support. The Southwest as a whole did not provide Buhari with the disproportionate number of votes that Zanfra State alone did. In 2015, we were able to unseat a president who was in office. We mobilized and succeed. Tunibu believed that this illogical Muslim Muslim ticket would aid him. This by the fact that we gathered the vote and gave our lives. He believes everyone in the North jumps when the word Muslim is said. The opposite is true. Well, um, this story 
I'm sorry, but we have heard it time and time and time and time again. Again. And for those who are saying, she's saying the truth. She's saying the truth. Do you want to tell me that had it been Najatu, Mohammed did not cross carpet or defect to PDP or come out openly and say she's resigning, tell me it's not well, you would not have been able to find out on your own. Meanwhile, that is our job. If I say we don't know what's be our work for this country, I mean the electorate. I've said it that you see this coming election. What the uh, what's it called the politicians? What they can do is to field a presidential candidate and a running mate. That is our own. Do you understand? Field a presidential candidate and a running mate. That is all. Our own duty is now to screen these people. I even at, at a point I said, okay, what is going to be, have been better? What would have been very sweet would be when they even allowed it into the primaries. That is, electorates like us, non-party people like us, would go into primaries and pick the best people. Then, election period, we will now pick the best out of the best. Sincerely, it would have been sweet because they were all, they almost signed it into law. But these people no agree. They no agree now because <laughs> if they're doing like that, many, many things, you have to go gas for these politicians. So let us now look for the best. It is our duty to ensure we pick the best. The best not because he's popular. The best not because he has money. The best not because eh, he has one experience. He has been a military head of state. We now, this time, we now have to look personal personality. Because, look, you become the president. Eh? You do not become the president. Your life is your life. What I'm trying to say is, whether I become the president or not, you see that life where they live. If you become the president, it will still be like that. There will be nothing different. So if you do not have the self-discipline to have a, to live a good life already, I'm telling you, <laughs> even if you get to that position, you're not going to work. That is why I keep saying we, we have, it is our right to and our duty to screen these people very well. I had to screen them when they come out to give interviews. Most of them did not even present. Some of them did not present themselves for interview. We take it that these people are not serious. Now, person will come as I tell you, oh, somebody comes every day and tell you, ah, sir, this is my product. This is what my product does for you. It does this for you. Compared to someone who just comes and sit down and follow you, they listen to that person the way they talk. Who do you think will be able to convince the audience? Anytime they see that person that markets the product, they might be laughing at that person or see this one, every time you go on. But before you know what he's saying, he's or saying, he's able to gain the attention at a point when you don't you don't persist for your, for a longer period of time. So Nigerians it's our duty to make sure we we pick someone who is someone who is you know um, who his personality stands him out, who is able to make Nigeria a better country. We are not supposed to be waiting for Najatun or Mohammed or anybody to come and tell us this person is good. At this point in time, if you are still waiting for somebody to come and tell you that this position is not good. But well, this one is good. Problem, problem. Nigerians, let us make the right decision. Come 2023. Okay, I'm just not if you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come.